My single most personally, pres personally gratifying presidential prerogative. That's the clue, guys. Hello? Clue. There we are. What's your name? Christopher Mangle. What school do you go to, Chris? College Station. And how old are you? About 10. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> sure. Okay. And what are you going to be when you grow up? Police. You in the Leadership Academy? Yes, sir. Pathways? Yes, sir. And you're going to help me out to set right now, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Thanks so much. Let's, let's give this young man more than that. I have to tell you, Chris does, Christopher doesn't know this, but I met him last year in Pathways program. And after I spent about 10 minutes with him, I said, he's going to be on the program. Thank you. And I said, and I said he's going to be on the program. So I'm very delighted to have you here with me, Chris. Thank you so much. Many, many Savannians genuinely believe that tonight's honoree the recipient of the 2011 President's Award is really the president of the 100 black men of Savannah. They really believe that. But Harold Oglesby is much more than Facebook. Harold Oglesby, over and above his responsibilities at St. Joseph's Candler, where he's head of respiratory care, is truly our man for all seasons. He's our go-to member. In addition to organizing our first Thursday business mixer, Harold served for two years as chair of our membership committee. Whenever we need anything, we go to Harold. And Harold's there just a quiet, gotcha. That's all it is, gotcha. And somehow or another, it gets done. Harold, please come forward. Harold, on behalf of the 100 black men of Savannah and all that we stand for and all that we do and all that we want to do, I want to thank you for all that you've done for us. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. you want to say anything? Sure. Gotcha. <laughs> I know a lot of you probably get emails and Facebook messages from me all the time inviting you to the mixers, but this coming Thursday, <laughs> April 7th at 6 p.m., we're going to be at Roof Chris. Everybody's invited. Come and enjoy the time you spend with the 100. I want to tell you one quick thing. I won't go over my two minutes if I have two minutes. But I, when I joined the organization, I joined the organization for a reason. And I joined the organization because I wanted to make a difference in the community. And like Lloyd says, when they ask me to do something, I say, I got you, because that's what I do. I got you. I joined the organization for a reason. And any time there's anything that needs to be done, that if I can do it, I'll do it. That's the goal when I was a membership chairman, when we brought in members, was to bring in members that were about doing things positive in the community and not just putting 100 black men pin on themselves. Our goal is always to do the best that we can to improve our community. And I think that's one of the main focuses that we continue to strive for and one of the things that we try to achieve to make a difference in not only the young people's lives, but also in every citizen's lives from the wellness committee, which we've had generation health fairs from the youngest to the oldest person in the community, from the economic development committee, uh, from our leadership academy, and from all the work that we do, our goal is always to give you guys the best to make the best Savannah that we can have. Thank you for your time. And finally, before we adjourn for the night and let the party begin, I just again want to thank so much our Gala Event Committee, chaired by uh, Charles Gilliard and others who served along with him. They really pulled it off. Terry Enoch, Harold Oglesby, as you've already met, Lamar Lawrence, Reggie Lassane, Chris Middleton. Chris, where are you? Can't see you out there, but Chris, thank you so much. Thank you, one and all. I'm sure I've overlooked some of you. For that, I apologize, and again, I take full responsibility. But again, 
Thanks to each and every one of you for joining us this evening, for your commitment, for your support of the 100 black men of Savannah. Thank you, and good night. Let the party begin. Let's get this party started, y'all. Come on. This is something everybody can do. Come on, ladies. We know y'all can do this. Come on. I think the uh, men of the 100 Black Men of Savannah did a great job this year, as they do every year. Uh, they're fine examples of what men should be doing in the community for the young men in the community to be seeing, to be modeling themselves after, and I congratulate them on another successful gala. Um, I'm involved in 100 Black Men because I want to give back to the community that um, helped me as far as me coming over to America, and I just want to mentor um, young kids, and I believe it will be a good success. Oh, I, I just want to help out the community. I always just want to give back. And um, that's, that's always something that I pride myself on doing is helping others. I just want to say that this, this event was successful. Everybody came out. We had a good time. And everything was great. <laughs>